Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Laura, and welcome back to Following the Chosen. Well, almost Following the Chosen, kind Laura, of. because on Following the Chosen, as you would know, we got stuck into every episode of Season 3, and yes. we're about to do that on Season 4, because Season 4 is almost here, which is why we're almost here. Well, we are here now. We're here now, but we're almost getting ready to talk about, yes, Season 4 of The Chosen. This could be a new thing for you, so if you haven't yet watched this series about Jesus, about the life of his disciples, the dramatization... Why haven't you? Of Yeah, why haven't you? Good question, but also catch up and then join us. Please, because season four is going to be massive. One of the reasons is it's in cinemas. Now, The Chosen has been previously in cinemas, hasn't it, before They've some parts? a couple but, of special event screenings, yeah. But now, the first two episodes, I think worldwide, mm. are going to debut in cinemas. We're going to be among the audiences that get to see it, among the first people. And as soon as we do, come back, join us on Following The Chosen so we can talk about episodes one and two. Before we get there, though, Laura... Yes, Time for predictions. What do you think is going to happen in season four? Well, I'll tell you this. I got a bit of a sneak preview. I got to chat with the cast and crew on the set of The Chosen. Hang on a minute. Hang on, feels... that, hang on, hang on. Hang yeah. on. You just dropped that in kind of casually. You got to speak with the cast and crew of The Chosen, which you've done before, mm. and you did again in the lead up to season four, yes. which you can go and check out on Hope. YouTube channel, please you do so. Plenty of interviews there. But you just dropped that in casually like, well, oh, yeah, I just happened to be hanging out with The Chosen. Yeah. Sure I you say, did. Okay. Let me speak. I say it to say that you need to go and listen because in these conversations, they gave us a real setup of what is going to be coming in season four. Which Spoilers? Were there spoilers? Well, I do hear that the first death of the season series is coming this season so death as in death death, Death because in in the trailer in the trailer Lazarus is called out from the grave now that seems like a little bit of a cheat because we know that he dies but then comes back do you think do you think the first death is Lazarus and they're kind of Having it both ways there. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. They or it could be someone someone else. We know it's not Jesus because the crucifixion isn't until season seven. Wow, so spoiler we know alert that. right there. No. Okay, so definitely not Jesus, possibly Lazarus. But you think it could be somebody else? It could be. It could be. So I'm just letting you know that that's coming. But it's also meant to be a more dramatic season because in this in season four, you've got more retaliation against Jesus and his disciples because Jesus' influence is increasing. So there's a bit more pushback, a bit more, you know, good versus evil. And also the disciples just aren't getting it. Like in the way that the disciples represent us a lot sometimes, we're not totally catching exactly what Jesus means. I hear that Jesus feels a little frustrated about that and he's a bit more isolated in his journey as the disciples aren't quite catching on. So I think we're going to see a more emotional Jesus and that side of him in season four. So did you find and then that the trailer that's dropped accurately represented what you encountered when you were with hanging out with the chosen cast and crew and what they had to say because everything you just described then seems to match up pretty well with the like two and a half minute sneak peek that we get in the trailer particularly around the isolation of Jesus. That seems to be a really prominent feature. Light Mm. and darkness is just gone on about all the time throughout the trailer, talking about Jesus as the man of sorrows. Mm. If you're heading into season four, expecting it to be fun times, and, you know, I don't know why you would expect that, though, if you've actually read the Gospels mm-hmm. and you see where this is going for Jesus. But maybe some, maybe, maybe. It's, maybe it's possible some people haven't. There might be more hacky sack games. <laughs> like, you never know. Except that's not what it was really called, right? We learned after watching season three that that's not what the, tra- the game is traditionally known as, that they were playing in that episode, which I can't remember which episode it was. No, but, please but I remember go, the scene. Please go back and find that episode where we talked about that episode in Following the Chosen and we talked about the hacky sack episode, which... Yeah. I'm hoping it doesn't go the hacky sack way instead, <laughs> and it sh- as it should not because of what the Gospels depict about mm. what happens with Jesus. And all of this is in alignment with that, as it's been mostly throughout all the seasons, yeah, yeah. tracking with where Jesus and his disciples are headed, including how Judas is heading a little bit off the reservation. Mm. And we're not just going to be talking about sort of what the uh, the Chosen brings in terms of storyline, but a lot about how that influences us. You know, this has been a really groundbreaking series, what it's done to reshape some people's uh, understanding of the Bible, who Jesus is as a person, not just as God, but as a man and how he relates to us. So throughout this podcast, that's some of what we're going to be talking about too. How does this series challenge our faith, enlighten our faith and influence the way we talk to each other as well? Yeah, because this is a podcast following the chosen for fans by some fans. Like there's some stuff that we haven't always liked, like the hacky sack thing. 
But apart from that, it's been fantastic, not just as a piece of TV, but as something that really helps our own faith, let alone the faith of so many other people around the world, that to be able to invest in and dive in, be immersed in mm. the world of Jesus and what he was about has been amazing for me to reconsider so many things about who it is I believe in and why. And we know that's been the case for you as well. So we're hoping that you can join us throughout the entirety of season four because following The Chosen is coming back. It's coming back. So make sure that you book yourself a ticket to see The Chosen season four premiering in cinemas and also subscribe to Following The Chosen wherever you listen to your podcast, be that Apple, Spotify, etc. And of course, if you do want the video versions of these conversations and see us in the kind of flesh, um, that's on our Hope 1032 YouTube channel as well.